The bomb exploded just after midday as the victim was travelling in his car along a better parade in East Belfast. One eyewitness described how the vehicle was blasted across the road by the force of the explosion. I was sitting in the car and all of a sudden it just seen an explosion. The car coming straight for me and then it went out round me. Lucky enough it escaped me. Up onto the platform though and down in and headed down into the gap. And the missus was just coming out through it at the time and I shouts at her for the run. If she hadn't run she'd have got it. In a follow-up operation police and troops sealed off the area. A short time later, the DUP leader, Ian Paisley, arrived at the scene. Yeah, well, I live, as you know, in this neighbourhood, and I've lived here for a very long time. And, of course, it's absolute abhorrence and revulsion. And uh, uh, I understand it's a senior prison officer who has been so brutally done to death in this savage and wicked manner. And, of course, it completely revolts and is held with abhorrence by every right-thinking person in this area. But the tragedy is that this is only another gallant man done to death and a long list of gallant people who have been done to death and the security forces are not given the sinews of war, they're not given the finance, they're not given the opportunity to deal with it. The second explosion happened just after four o'clock at the former Midland Hotel in North Belfast. The bomb was in a car left in a park at the rear of the building, which now houses a number of offices and small businesses. It started a fire and there was considerable damage. A warning had been given and the area cleared before the blast. There were no injuries.